Is your hard drive going into overdrive trying to store all those digital pictures? Well, joining us with some ideas on how to use those photos are Amit Gupta and Kelly Jensen. They are co-authors of Photo Jojo, insanely great photo projects and DIY ideas. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Let's start over here with you, Kelly, because you are introducing us this morning to edible paper. That's right. Very uh, cool. Yeah, this is uh, this is cupcake paper that you can get uh, online or in cake shops. Um, and it's basically just circles of sugar and starch. And uh, you can run it through your printer. You can get uh, food coloring cartridges for uh, for your printer and just run it through. It prints out on the icing. And then How you do you can get just, your uh, pictures on here? Oh, well, you can just do it in the computer. Just put it all together. There's a little template. Oh, there's a template. Yeah, there's for a template. It. Put it together and print it out. And that then uh, you wonderful. can just peel your face off and uh, stick it on a cupcake. Peel your face yep. off is usually not an appealing thing, but not in this always. Case, but you know, we make exceptions. We got Rush. We got jewels. Yep. This is so great. You can do anybody. And then oh, there we go. <laughs> all right. And then I'm gonna do um, it. Yeah. Can oh, I yeah. taste it? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Mm. So it just tastes like sugar, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's yep. just sugar. Very yeah. nice. There you go. I bit off your hat. <laughs> so when you have this kind of specialized paper, it opens so many doors because you can do all this stuff. Yeah, you can get, I mean, there's every kind of paper you can think of. There is like sticker papers. You can make, you know, Rubik's Cubes of your friends. There what are these? These look like voodoo oh, yeah. dolls. No, they're, they're <laughs> lovely, nice, friendly dolls. This is just fabric. But it has, um, it's just thin fabric, has a plastic backing, and you can run it through just any normal inkjet printer at home. One of my favorite things, you have a bunch of examples and ideas in the book, but this, yeah. explain what this is made of. Oh, this is, um, this is a bunch of CD jewel cases, and we just blew up one big photo, and carved it up, and put it into a bunch of old jewel cases that you know we were just going to throw away. I love it, Kelly. Great yeah. ideas. All right, let's bring in Amit, who is the techie. These are life-changing ideas, <laughs> and you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a lot of great things for your camera. Yeah, that's right. I like this one a lot. It's actually only about 50 cents worth of parts. Okay. Um, you go on vacation with your family, and you really don't want to lug a big tripod around with you. Um, so this is something you can make just with a bottle cap that you drill a hole in, a bolt, a washer, and a, and a nut. And you basically just make yourself a bottle cap tripod that you throw in your bag, that and anywhere great. you go, you can find a water bottle. That is genius. It's such a dilemma when we go on vacation. Yeah. What have you done with this old film canister? Well, so um, if you've got one of these new digital SLRs, mm -hmm. they've got these pop-up flashes. And they take great photos, but the flash makes the photos kind of flat and washed out. Um, so if you use one of these old film canisters, the white ones, and cut a slit in it, you can just pop this on, and you get nice, even lighting in your photos. So it's like a diffuser? Mm-hmm. Oh, that is... Very cool. Yeah. And you've tried these, obviously, and they all work great. <laughs> yeah, they work great. Well, what is this? Is this a peephole? Uh, this is a peephole, yeah. Um, you can get one of these at Home Depot. Uh, it's the thing you look through in your door to see who's outside, but you can also use it as a fisheye lens. So what effect does it create? It just basically gives uh, a really kind of bulbous look where you can see huh. 180 degrees. Oh, that's look how cool that is. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you both. And props to Molly, who's on the cover of your book. She is here this morning, Molly the doggy, and she's got a she doggy cam, which you also feature in the book. Yes, she's been uh, running around the streets of San Francisco and New York being humiliated. She loves it. Sweetly. Yeah, she's loving it. Ooh. She's loving it, taking videos from her point of view. Well, if you're into that <laughs> and all these other ideas, you can check out the new book. Kelly, Molly, Amit, thank you. Sure. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate your you. time.